ChatGPT just came out with their advanced voice mode. And I thought I would do something just to show you, just to show you a little bit of experiment of how this works. I'm gonna have it role play with me. Can somebody in this room just tell, just yell out your title within your organization? Just yell out your title. What's, did you say finance? Okay, I can't hear in the back. Somebody in the front tell me. Design manager, perfect. Is that what you wanna say? Okay, I just heard finance, I don't know why. Um, Okay, how about we do this? We're gonna play a role-playing scenario with ChatGPT's voice. Hold on. Hey, I was just wondering if you could do a role-playing scenario with me. You're gonna be the CHRO of a design company. You're gonna be hiring a design manager. I'm gonna be acting as the interviewee. You're gonna ask me two questions and afterwards evaluate if I'm fit for the job. And actually, can you make it at 1.5 speed because I'm on a timeline here. Let's start. Sure, let's jump in. First question, can you describe a project where you had to lead a team through a challenging design process? How did you ensure successful collaboration? Uh, yeah, we, we had this massive bridge that we had to make and I just got everybody drunk, so yeah. That's an interesting tactic. Second question, how do you balance creativity with meeting client expectations under tight deadlines? Well, you know what? Again, we just, I, I make sure that I just come to their house and I, and I just bug them when they're sleeping. That's it. Well, that's quite a bold approach. Given your unconventional methods, you might bring a unique perspective to the team. However, in a professional setting, some adjustments to your strategies might be necessary to align with industry standards. All right, all right, I, I got it, I got it. Um, I, by the way, now what I do is I just put this right beside me and for some reason she sounds exactly like Gabriel Union and I enjoy that piece. My wife is like, who are you talking to? It's like, it's Dwayne Wade's wife, don't worry about it. Uh, it's her own AI, but it's incredible. Now when it comes to design, I think what, what, what's really interesting is that I think this could be a great accelerant to what we are doing. I'll give you an example of this. I was here during the sound check and they had the, the nominees for the best rendering uh, and they, they, they put them up on the screen. And so what I did is I took a screenshot of one of those renderings and see if I could replicate one of those renderings in Midjourney. Midjourney is a tool where you can create these images and graphics to see what it could create. So what I did was I, I, I saw these guys working and I grabbed this picture. This is from Lucia. Lucia, oh, is that you? No, no you know her. You work with a letter? No, I, I took a screenshot of her, okay? I took this rendering, beautiful rendering, I took a screenshot of it, I put it into Midjourney. And Midjourney is this tool that comes up with images and graphics. It came up with its own description of what it was looking at. I said, describe it. It came up with its own description. And then I pressed one button, and then it came up with 16 different versions of what this might look like using AI. And it gave me 16 different versions of that. And so I just chose the one that I like the best, which I thought was really nice, which was um, this one. And this was the one from Lucia, who did an amazing job, by the way. Uh, round of applause for Lucia, by the way. The human, obviously, is better. But just for fun, I just created, I put this into a video just to make it move a little bit so that we, we could sell it. I mean, at this point, you might be able to tell this, that this is AI, but wait 90 days, and you're not. I mean, you can tell, but, the, but the, a regular person would not be able to tell. And so this is where we are with AI. Let's keep up and going with the designs. Now, I'm not a good sketch artist at all, but what I want to create is my own furniture. So I went to another site called Leo AI, and this is where you can do sketch to, to prototypes. So what I did was I, I tried to create my own furniture in the style of a cyber truck. So this is my, uh, this is the Cybertruck furniture that I tried to, to create. Um, now you're laughing at me. This is, it's not great, but listen, modern furniture mimicking a Cybertruck and it looked like this. Not bad, it's not bad. Let's keep on going. I used another tool, it's called Zona AI. And what I did is I went to the Configura's uh, website, I went to their help section. 
they had a flooring extension image. So I grabbed this image from the help section and I just wanted to upscale this. I wanted to upscale this so that this looks like it's in a real environment, a real prototype. So I went to Zona, I just dropped that picture in there. It gave me some categories of what I should turn that into. Should it be you know, in a living room? Should it be uh, you know, minimalistic? And then it turned up the exact specifications into something that was upscaled into this. See, what, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are in the AI revolution is that anything that is digital today will be replicated. An app, an image, a screenshot, a, 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 a website. I, there was this tweet that was trending last week. This, kid, this guy named Andrew said that this New York City public college uh, paid Oracle $600 million to build their course management portal. In fact, it was going to be a billion dollars, but the, but the college reneged. And the, the UI of that course management portal, one of the pages, looked like this. I mean, listen, a lot of designers in the room, this ain't great in terms of UI and topography. So what I did is I went to my new favorite site, it's called Versal. And what you can do with this is recreate web pages. So I said, based on this screenshot, Listen, pretend you're like Johnny I from, from back in the day in Apple, recreate this website and the components of it. And what it started to do is start to recreate the code. It started to recreate the features around this particular website. And what it ended up doing is creating a more 2024 uh, example of what that portal might look like. Now all I had to do is screen record all the different pages and at least I have a shell of what this platform would look like. And of course they paid Oracle $600 million to do that. I just, I paid for a cup of tea. That's what it took me to, to make mine. What's happening is that technology is becoming increasingly more commoditized. And I'm here at a conference put on by a tech company and I'm here telling you that technology is becoming increasingly more commoditized. But the punchline has always been the reason why Configura is, is in this business is not just because of the tech or the tool. It's because of you. It's because of the users. The reason why we have more than 400 people here that are passionate about this particular space is because you're sharing ideas. You're coming up with creative ways of using the tool. And it's about those best practices. But this era of paying $600 million for a portal, that is over. That is over when anybody can do this.